The Portage Lake Lavas are a series of flood basalt flows found across the Lake Superior region in the Upper Peninsula. Main outcrops are observed on the Keweenaw Peninsula and Isle Royale across the bay, which both belong to the same sequence. Thus, the same exact rock can be found in both locations. The Portage Lake Lavas originally caught attention in 1841 when geologist Douglas Houghton had accounted for many native copper deposits in the Keweenaw Peninsula belonging to the formation which ended up spurring much interest for further study in copper mining. They are some of the oldest rock found in the state, dating back to the Proterozoic era, forming roughly from many hundreds of flows 1.1 to 1.7 billion years ago. During this era, a large region stretching from what is today modern Kansas up to Lake Superior were undergoing a continental rift, thought to have occurred by weakening of the crust from upwelling of a mantle plume, resulting in hot spots underneath North America which erupted as many lava flows, while the continent was slowly splitting apart. Erupted lava is thought to have occurred on the axis of the rift system. This phenomenon was known as the Mid-Continent Rift, or the Keweenawan Rift, an example of a failed rift system which stopped before completely splitting the North American continent apart, and left much igneous rock at the surface, the Portage Lake lavas being one of them. Because these flows occurred over one billion years ago, most of it has been buried as basement bedrock for the region under many sedimentary sequences, but it remains as an outcrop on the Keweenawan Peninsula and Isle Royale as part of the large Lake Superior syncline, a shape that likely formed due to the rifting action of the era and higher density of basalt in this formation being weighed down in the center from overlying sediment and thrust to the surface from two faults, the Isle Royale Fault and the Keweenaw Fault. It is measured to contain over 10,000 feet of basaltic and andesitic flows under Isle Royale. The portage-like lavas are not a result of one singular long lava flow, but rather hundreds of flows that occurred over hundreds of millions of years up until the late Precambrian. Between episodes of flows are interbedded clastic sedimentary sequences, which would have been indicative of occasional pauses in eruptions. Towards the late Proterozoic era, as rifting ceased, Volcanic activity began to slow, which allowed for more thicker layers of conglomeratic sedimentary rock to fill above the Portage Lake lavas within the rift. The top of this layer ends with the Copper Harbor Conglomerate, which is a clastic layer of basalts and rhyolites from the previous rift flowed into the basin of the resulting rift valley and overlays the Portage Lake lavas found on both Isle Royale and the Keweenaw Peninsula. The Portage Lake lava is dominantly a vesicular basalt, which over time has had its vesicles filled with many different minerals, becoming an amygdaloidal basalt. Particularly for the Portage Lake lavas, copper was in great concentration as a filling mineral for these basalts, and due to the sheer thickness of the layer, outcrops in Keweenaw had some of the highest concentration of native copper on the planet, resulting in many copper mines opening after discovery of the resource by geologist Douglas Houghton in 1841. Copper was once a major resource for Michigan, though most of the copper mines have shut down since. Much native copper can still be found and is treasured by collectors for its high quality. One particular famous specimen is a Michigan-shaped piece of float copper that was found and is now publicly displayed at Rood Hall at Western Michigan University. In summary, the Portage-like lavas were a result of a lava brought to the surface by continental rifting over the mid to late Proterozoic. Pulling a part of the continent and filling of the rift system atop the basalt layers slowly resulted in the bowl shape that is found in the Lake Superior syncline and the Keweenawan Basin, of which the end of it peaks out as Isle Royale and the Keweenaw Peninsula. If you are interested in learning more about other ancient Michigan Precambrian geology, you can check out our Michigan Geology Precambrian video or our video on Kona Dolomite. If you want to know more about how the mid-continent rift and other basalts shaped the entire state, you can check out our video on the Michigan Basin.